Once you've created the enum point, you can get in and edit it if you need to. Say you had 10 options. You selected your 10 options, but you messed up the wording or you messed up the code. In that case, you would go to Folio Launch, click on your gear under Tools here, go to Advanced, Number to Enum, Edit, and then you select that enum. You can get in, you can change your name, you can change your code number, whatever you need to do. In my case, I looked at the totally wrong list, so a lot of my codes were wrong. So what I then you can just go to Enum Meta, which in my case I've already typed it before. Hit enter. And now I can select that, do pencil edit. And then underneath this RTUC alarms right here, you have this little drop down arrow. You can click on that, and then you have this editor. So you can edit this list. Now, if you only had a couple of them messed up, you could just select, like say you had a 72. So you could hit enter here. You could just copy the same convention. So 72 is the code. Then it wants quotations, what your, so test, and another quotation. In my case, I don't need that. So you could do it like that. Or you could just copy and paste the whole thing in Notepad. And this is Notepad++. And I went in and changed a whole bunch of the codes because I had them all messed up. So I just copied, pasted it in here, and then you click OK and hit close. Now you're not done because if you go back to, full, to DB Builder, you can see that this current alarm, there's this enumeration string up here. So that enumeration string will not update unless you reapply that list. Well, I have eight rooftops. If I was only going to do, if I only had one point underneath one RTU, say it was a unique RTU, then you would just go to your I button up here underneath that current alarm. And then once you get there, you can copy that ID right here. So you could hit this copy button right here. You go back to Folio, unselect this. Go to advanced number to enum and reapply this list and you could have pasted that absolute id right there in my case i have eight rooftops so i can do nav name equals current alarm you can click on the filter to test it you can hit test well there's eight so i can hit okay and confirm now that would have got all eight of them or if you didn't know you could go to filter do custom and you could navigate down to one of the rooftops and just select that specific one. Now it's going to try to do it by tags. And I can hit test. Well, it's going to do eight of them because apparently I have them tagged and they must be similar. So I can hit OK, confirm, and OK. So now you just updated your strings and you updated the whole code without having to delete the whole thing. You can get it and edit it. So in this case, there was multiple pages of these alarms. So it started here, page 174, and you just keep going down through these codes. Well, you have multiple pages, so you don't really want to delete everything and start over or try to count those because you can easily be off. If you got 70 codes and you only picked 68 options, well, instead of redoing the whole thing, you can just get into your tools after you do your enum meta and then you can customize that. It just saves you time.